everyone through here welcome to today's video today's video is going to be a very fascinating one and we're going to be talking about gcp google cloud platform more specifically we're going to be looking at this question should you get certified as a data engineer on the google cloud platform for the agenda we're going to look at a review of what the certification is i'm going to dive in and give you my own personal opinions about this particular certification and certifications in general and as always, we're going to talk about some possibilities and where to go from here with this information. So that said, let's dive in. If you go into Google and do a quick search of the Google Cloud Professional Certified, all right, just type in Google Cloud Professional Certified. What this is going to do is going to bring us a list of certifications that Google does offer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this to take us to the certifications page from Google. Now, there is a whole plethora of information available here for us. We want to scroll down to see what's available. In here, we see there is an associate, there is a professional, and there is a user certification. Of course, the user certification is not, it's not going to be as important for us. What we really care about is the associate and the professional. From what I see here, let me just zoom in here for a second. The associate requires six plus month uh, building Google uh, Cloud Platform. So you need, require basically six months of experience on the Google Cloud Platform. The professional is a little bit more. It requires three plus years of industry experience plus one year on the Google Cloud Platform. So if you are a beginner and you're watching this video and you're thinking about getting the certification, my assumption is that you're probably thinking about the Cloud Engineer certification. So let's dive into that. So in here, we can see the cloud engineer certification. It does tell us what the certification is about, the, about the exam. There is an exam that you need to take. It costs about 125 US dollars as of making this video. The length is two hours. The format is a multiple choice uh, exam. And prerequisites, there's really no prerequisites. So this tells me if you have no experience, you've never worked on the Google Cloud Platform before, this might seem really appealing. And I see why a lot of people are excited about this. But the question is, is this right for you? So let's dive in a little bit more deeper. So it says here, step one, get real world experience. Of course, I don't know how you're going to get a real world experience if you don't have experience yet. Here, step two, it says understand what's on the exam, try practice exam, run out your skills with training. So I think it's very interesting. Step five talks about uh, exam readiness. And then step six talks about scheduling your exam. So I think these steps are pretty straightforward for somebody who is looking at getting into this. Uh, these are pretty straightforward steps. Get some re real world experience. Understand what's on the exam practice, run of your skills with some training, online training, in-person training, hands-on practice, and additional resources. Uh, check your exam readiness and then schedule your exam. So if you ask me what my opinion is about taking this exam, if you can stomach this cost, which is about $125, then there's no reason not to. All right. You know, in life, Nothing really is free. If you want to get a certification, it makes sense to pay for it. Now, the question is the expectations that people have about getting a certification like this. And that expectation usually is, well, if I get a certification like this and I spend maybe a weekend or a month or two and I get the certification, I should be guaranteed a job. And now that's where a lot of people get this wrong. All right. For me, getting a certification is just proof. It's just proof that you've taken the initiative to learn the concepts and pass whatever exam is at the end of those concepts. It doesn't mean that you actually know the stuff because what companies need is for you to have experience. And if you don't have experience, the exam doesn't give you experience. It just validates a certain level of your knowledge. And so the disappointment I see with a lot of people who go forth and take exams like this is they take these exams and they just assume that they should just, you know, be guaranteed a job at the end of this exam. But that's not the case. That's just not the case. 
So if you ask in my opinion, if you want to take the exam, you have the time, you have the money, go for it. Definitely take the exam. But it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get a job out of it. All right. And if you go in here and you see uh, there are some courses here on Coursera. I'm assuming that these courses are free as well. Let's take a look. Preparing for the Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer exam. Uh, try for free enroll to start yourself in the full access. Uh, usually Coursera is free. So is this free? So let's look at the syllabus. That makes sense. All right. I'm not a hundred percent sure if this course is, is free, but use some Coursera courses are free. So if you want to take them, go for it. But what people usually uh, have a trouble with is resetting their expectations. Courses like this are great. I'm a, I'm a fan of courses like this. All right. Or of opportunities like this, because there are people who have literally changed their careers. They've literally changed their lives by moving from one field to another in technology, taking courses like this and getting good paying jobs with good companies. Google is a very reputable company, but the expectation is usually what gets a lot of people. Now that said, I want to share another resource here, the certified directory. So in here, if you click in here, you can see, hopefully when you get your certification, I'm guessing, that this is for all the people who have been certified so far, right? Your name, I just make it on this board. And if I am an executive, if I am a manager, if I am a, at a company and I'm trying to hire for somebody to work on my Google Cloud platform, one person comes in, they have a certification, another person comes in, they don't. More than likely, I'll prefer the person who has a certification. Now we can talk about experience. This excludes all the experience that you might have. Because experience for me usually beats certification. So assuming that your name is on this on this board, once you've gotten through this, it might just increase your chances of getting hired. All right. So again, it's a no brainer. If you have the opportunity, the time and the money, go ahead and take this certification. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about before we wrap up this video is just the idea of certifications in general. If you go into Google again and just do a, a, a search of cloud certifications, cloud certifications, there are many cloud platforms, Google, AWS from Amazon, Azure from Microsoft, right? Those are the top big three. So which one of those should you take? Because if you get certified in GCP and the effort, the time and the resources you put in towards that, those are resources you're not putting towards Microsoft, as an example, and Azure. Those are resources you're not putting towards AWS, as an example, which is Amazon. So which one of those three should you choose to get certified in? And that's really a challenge for a lot of people because these vendors all have certifications and it could be challenging for you to choose which of the certifications to, to, to take. All right. So like I came here, you can see the Google Cloud certifications, we've talked about AWS, there's Microsoft somewhere, which one of this? So let's just click on this link in here. Uh, this is from Co uh, Cloud Academy that has some training around the cloud. You can see they have all the certifications. So it's really a challenging uh, uh, position to be in to decide which one to take. But again, my philosophy, my opinion about all of this is you want to be vendor agnostic as much as possible, especially at the very beginning. You want to understand the fundamentals and those fundamentals will be, will be true, irrelevant of the specific vendors that you go in. For example, a VM, a virtual machine should be true whether you're running on AWS, on Azure or on GCP. Now, what these vendors would do with their specific certifications is they are going to teach you how to set it up within their specific environments, which might be different. So how to set up a VM in GCP might be different from how you set up a VM in, in Azure, might be different from how you set up a VM in AWS. But at the end of the day, you are still setting up a VM. You're still setting up a virtual machine. So focusing on understanding those concepts that translates the cloud 
for me, it's a more important effort than just going down and getting locked in into a particular vendor. I'm not saying don't learn what the vendors are asking you to learn and get certified in those vendors. I'm simply saying don't get caught in that trap of lock, being locked into a vendor where all you know is what GCP offers you and you have no idea of what's possible in AWS and you have no idea of what's possible in Microsoft per se. All right. And the way you can get past that is a lot of these companies, and I'm going to bring another screen here. They do offer their, their platform for free for the most part, especially if you're using it for learning and practicing. So, for example, I search free GCP. All right, free. And this is GCP is for Google Cloud Platform. And if you do a search for that free GCP, you can click on this very first link and just imagine what we see here. So let me click on that very first link. You can see Google is offering that platform a lot of their products for free plus $300 uh, of free credit to use. Guys, if you're looking to practice, this is what you should be taking advantage of and actually practicing and getting hands-on experience on the platform. And then what I'll do is I'll switch and do the same. I know Amazon provides very similar uh, uh, platform for free with the, with some kind of credit that you can use on Amazon to practice. Same thing with, with Microsoft and AWS. They do provide some form of credit for free that you can use to practice. So if I was a complete beginner, and this is going now into my opinion about this, all right? If I was a complete beginner, I would take advantage of those free resources that are provided by all those platforms and learn as much as possible across the board before even specializing in one, in this case of getting uh, the GCP certification. That way you understand the fundamentals. You can choose to get certified in all of them because once you've understood the fundamentals, I can guarantee you getting certified in any single one of them is just a matter of you know, just fine tuning the, the bells and whistles of what each, each vendor provides. So to me, that's a better option than just being too worried about, should I get, you know, Google cloud platform certified? Should I get AWS certified? Should I get Microsoft, uh, Azure certified? What about getting certified in all of them? They offer free credits you can take advantage of. It's just a matter of putting in the effort, taking advantage of that and learning and building your skills. Now, skills to me are more important than certification. I've always said this in my videos. Certification just proves that you've, you know some of the concepts, but it doesn't prove mastery in any way. Mastery comes down to hands on. Do you know it or do you, you don't? There are people that are certified. I wouldn't hire them to even manage my development environment. All right. And there are people who are not certified and they would, they are in demand because of what they know. So focus on what you know. And I think the certification should just carry on. All right. So guys, I hope this was helpful answering the question of the Google cloud, uh, platform data engineer certification. Should you get certified? The simple answer is it depends. Yes. Build your skills, get the certification but have a broad perspective about the industry and focus on skills than certification. Certification is just a stopgap. But if you have the skills under your belt, that prepares you for long-term success. All right. I hope this was helpful. Hopefully this answers the question that you guys have. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to jump into the comment section below and let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer those. Thanks for watching through here. And I'll see you in the next video.